All right, I'm sitting here with the guys from Top Tennis Training and I've decided I'm gonna take over the show. <laughs> they were thinking about what questions to ask me and they couldn't come up with anything intelligent. Like, when did it start? When? Seriously, you, you're gonna get humiliated tonight. Surely you should be asking me questions like, how do I hit a forehand? How do I hit a serve? What's the point of playing on a compact court? So, Alex. So this guy actually thinks he's gonna beat us at touch tennis and he doesn't really know what's coming right now. Like, he obviously has watched out some of our videos, he's probably put in a few of those techniques in he place. He says he's got the lag. Yeah. He says he's got the lag on the well, forehand. Actually, I, I must say, as much as I want to give you guys grief, I did watch the video about forehand lag. <laughs> whilst I understand the principle of the racket back and stuff like that, what I'd never really had before was a, a set point like this. I will have set points against you later, but <laughs> I didn't have a set point here where I could just start my set forehand instruction. Down. Never gonna happen, never gonna happen. You, you've got no talent. I've seen you play, it's appalling. Raw determination and heart, that's what I've got. You get my talent. And you're overweight. <laughs> you're overweight. So we take the racket back like this, and that automatically takes me out of my useful old full western grip that I used to hit the ball with. So now I'm in a position where I'm able to use slightly more semi-western grip. And yeah, I'm going to use that. I'm going to actually use that against you. I'm going to hit winners against you with your own technique. <laughs> so, so tell us, how did the sport come around? Um, well, the, the story is already uh, documented on the site. As far as I was trying to teach my daughter how to play, she wanted some amusement. She, she thought tennis would be a good idea. So I used to play in the back garden with her, mess around, yeah, play a little yeah. bit here and there with her. And surprise, surprise, um, a bit like that. Very noisy, no consideration for anyone else. I got hit in the face a few times at court. <laughs> and I decided, well, I can't use tennis balls in a garden that's the size of this table. Yeah. Um, you know, London gardens are renowned for being very big. So <laughs> eventually, we tried all sorts of different connotations of balls. We had, you know, smooth sheen balls, which you have. The problem is when they soak up water, they get wet to here. Yeah. So they nerf, and you still get it in the face. <laughs> and, you know, we tried everything. And eventually, we found a dense foam and we messed around with it. It was a Slazenger ball, actually. Okay. So the only people that made it. And they stopped making it. And so I had to go about finding a factory that would make it for myself and make it for me and for the sport. And sure enough, we did. You know, we found a factory. Um, and that's the ball. And it, it, as you know, you'll find out later, it, it reacts incredibly to spin. Mm. It, you know, it, everything you do with this ball promotes the use of your hands, yeah. which I think can really help people when they play tennis from a beginner level, even an intermediate level, and an advanced level. You know, you see people, they go back to the same habits again and again. They, they start going Del Potro on forehands. And yeah. well, you know what, Del Potro is one of a kind. You can't do that. <laughs> you know, normal people, mere mortals, anyone up to 50 in the world cannot do that. He's a freak. So it encourages you know, spin. And don't spin. forget, guys, the courts are a, a, a lot smaller than the tennis court. We're talking like it's almost like when you're playing in the boxes. You yeah. really have to use that top spin to bring the ball down. And uh, obviously, the ball would float otherwise. If you didn't, if you didn't use a spin, it, 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 you would just miss it long, right? So yeah, yeah, absolutely. I mean, you're talking about 12 meters long by six yeah. meters wide for doubles and five meters wide for singles. Um, some of my victims from the ATP and WTA tour, Emily Webley Smith, Josh Goodall, Dan Evans. I've got the video of me beating Dan Evans. So technically, I'm better than Vavrinka. Yeah. Because Vavrinka, <laughs> Vavrinka lost the tiebreak to Evans. I've never lost one. I beat him 11 9. I'm just so putting that out. Technically, when I beat you tonight, uh, you're better than I'm really better than Vavrinka. So I, it's almost so like I would have won you a second. Yeah. I'm no. forward to it. No. Today will be the day <laughs> never going to have well, your dreams will still come true. We used to have the US Open here, the Touch Tennis US Open, but now so, it's held out in Missouri. So you have Grand Slams uh, like a normal. Uh, yeah, I mean, so look, it's all the whole, as you'll tell from everything we do, it's all tongue in cheek. You know, nothing's meant to be taken too seriously. Some people, you know, at the very top want to compete, they want to battle it out, they want to win points. And you have a world ranking system. Yeah, yeah, but we have a ranking system. So, you know, you turn up to events, you win points, your best eight results count from the year. So you can't just turn up to 12 events. Yeah. Like you guys, I bet they're going to do. And think you <laughs> can gonna dominate. Be, we're going to be there with you right now. So in terms of reach, how many people are playing the sport at the moment? How well, we guesstimate about 10,000 players playing the sport. Um, on a weekly basis, we're in 160 venues in England alone. Oh, wow. England, Scotland, yeah. Wales and Ireland. Yeah. And around the world, there's probably another 40, 50 places to play weekly. I mean, I get a, an email every week saying, you know, we're playing in Hull, we're playing in Rio, we're playing in Chile. You know, we don't monitor it tightly or, or run any particular controls on it. What we do is, um, 
we, we have the sport very much like Facebook, allowing everybody and anybody to play it. But one of the reasons I wanted to get together with you guys, I mean, I love the reach, I love what you do with your site, but I, I would really like to have, once I've taught you how to play, <laughs> you're going to need a lesson. You know, some videos and we can maybe make a series where yeah. we discuss online how tennis technique or how touch tennis technique can be better to improve talk, rotation on the ball, yeah. things like that. You know, you guys are going to get out there now, you're going to try it, you're going to figure out exactly how that ball how reacts feels. to spin and how much you kick you need to put on your serve or slice and how flat you can go so that we can, you know, we can give the viewers a, a video on a compact court and it'll prove that you don't necessarily need to always have access to a tennis court if you want to work on your technique. Mm. Some people, and I always hear this, people complaining about, oh, you know, court access, that sort of, well, you know what, for starters, there are thousands of courts um, around the world. You can always find one, and they're not always great. The good thing about this ball, and I'm advertising again, is that it bounces on almost any surface. You can play on clay, grass, so any grass area of your garden, you can mark out a court and hit with your kids. You could hit with it on clay, you can mm. hit with it on hard sand, tarmac, just use some tape. So it's cheap yeah. uh, in that sense. And it'd be good to see people's feedback, you know, once they've tried it as well, you know, tried adapting it, maybe send in your videos to Top Tennis Training and show us how you're playing yeah. mm -hmm. a version of Touch Tennis. Very good. So yeah, it could almost be like a little stepping stone where you can play touch tennis and then see whether that improves your tennis. Yeah. Uh, maybe you can use your tennis skills and see how that you know transfers into uh, the touch tennis game because it's uh, on a smaller court. Uh, see all the different skills that you can come up with. Obviously, you can still have the serve and volley. Um, I heard that the serve is actually quite tough to uh, to do. I'm going to test You'll that myself. Yeah. <laughs> so, so what point. is the key to this sport? The key to this sport is I make the rules. <laughs> The key, he, to this, the, guy. <laughs> the key to this sport is, um, if you get on court and you're taking yourself too seriously and you're smashing rackets and swearing and you know, acting like a child, it's the wrong game for you. It's meant to remind you that tennis was meant to be fun. That's all it was ever meant to be. A courtyard game that was designed on the lawns of England. You know, mm -hmm. That was all it was meant to be, fun. And touch tennis just brings that back. It's cat and mouse. Yeah. So it's not just about power, it's about pushing people around and nudging and bunting. And, yeah. You know, you, you outthink your opponents rather than outhit them. Okay. So, where can people go to find out more about the sport? Um, the site, simple, touchtennis.com. Um, there's videos on YouTube, um, videos your of Marcus Willis as well. Yeah. yeah. Um, we've got our channel. It's nowhere near as many subscribers as you've got. You're up with what? Are we like 10,000 or something? Where? On YouTube? 50,000. 50,000 subscribers. Yeah. Must be some Ukrainians. <laughs> ran some ransomware. It's pretty <laughs> sad. We're we're buying subscribers. <laughs> yeah, buying subscribers. That's just unbelievable. No, great work. I've seen the stuff with Ferrer. The minute you start putting those sort of names in, yeah. they're interested. Mm -hmm. um, and now you're going to have some videos of the greatest of all time. <laughs> in touch tennis, yeah. Oh, no. Well, we're gonna, when, we, when we beat you, do yeah. we then become the greatest of all time? No, you don't. Because, you know, my era was in the 2000s to 2010. Okay. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm passing the button. You know, when did the sport start? 2002. Okay. So, you know, you guys weren't even... I mean, I would have beat you then. <laughs> Happen. Back about? then, well, maybe. Five, six, how old were you? I was 16. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I would have destroyed you. Yeah, actually, like, the, the, the sport actually seems like it, it would be kind of easier to start up. I think a lot of the, yeah. uh, the adults out there, when they, they almost, you know, when you come on the court the first time and you hit your first few balls, because it's so technically difficult, um, it, you end up missing a lot of balls, you don't have as much fun because you don't have any rallies, you know, and I remember myself certainly when I started tennis, it, I felt like that, you know, and this you get discouraged. Like, yeah. You're going to feel like that again in about five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> well, I suggest we stop all this let's, talk, we get out the Let's court, get out there exactly and show him his boss. Like. Right, let's go. Such a tight lob! Yeah. <laughs> 
If you imagine a game between real tennis and ping pong, this is it. Big man, got my drink. Now I'm ready. Yeah, you're so bad at the net. Stay back. <laughs> <laughs> Non-existent. We've got a backhand slice video coming out soon. <laughs> 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 That's how you slice it. Come. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Oh, what a return! <laughs> what a return! Did you see that, guys? Epic. <laughs> he didn't call it out, did he? <laughs> he called it out, but we, we have no two cameras on this line, so it's fine. Is he known for doing this? <laughs> it's amazing how you invent a sport and then two guys come in, they've never, never played, played it before, it. and they're actually better than you. And they that must hurt. That must hurt. What do you reckon? His pride know. must be hurt. I think he's crying behind the wall right now. He's crying inside. <laughs> 40, 30? 30, 40. Same thing. this at some point. I told you this guy would never have a chance against me. Everyone who said this guy had a hope, everyone who said this guy had a hope, they were mad, absolutely mad. He's not in my league, he never will be. Now watch the greatest server of all time. Ah! Oh, yeah. 
is when you've got no baseline game, and it's going to be tough. But I'm winning every rally. I just can't get the serve in. It's just going to take some time. I'll just come in there, shall I? So So badly. That's the biggest forehand. So let's put it to the test. Got on that point. Okay, we lost the first doubles, four love. No, what was the score, four two? No, we four lost love. it, we lost it. Four Pretty love, bad. right, that was bad. So we're gonna have to reverse that and win four love. Are you ready? Let's do it. We're ready. Come on! That's four of them you've caused in 
that? Five. Five. <laughs> Counts as that's We don't count the slice. <laughs> You. You. Me, me, me. You. No. Long. The wall. <laughs> Come on, take that one. Yeah. Yep. Oh, that's so weak, Rashid. You got don't, don't mess this up.